our three servants Sean Paul, Diana and Peter are here today who have been on their mission and have just returned 3 months ago Today they are going to be the <coughs> Today they are going to be there at the chapter meeting too Let's take a peek at what they have to share could all of y'all give us example of how your lives have transformed from the mission? I'll go first on this one. Well, I come from a wealthy family. We have always given our monthly donations. But that's nothing compared to the mission. But like they say, money can't always buy happiness. I recall an incident at my family get-together last weekend. Even though your dad didn't agree with you, you stood up for what was right. What about you, Sean? Has anything changed for you? Well, this is my story. I used to go to the meeting uh, in my car, although uh, the place was just 10 minutes walking distance from my house. I used to prefer the luxury of my car. 
But when I returned from mission, uh, my brothers and sisters from my household were first, the first ones to notice this change about me. Bro, where is Sean? The meeting is going to start at 10 o'clock and now it is 9.59. Is it 10.30 yet? No. He is always late. He'll be here in the next half an hour. How is it even possible? He lives like 10 minutes across the road. He should be here on time, I bet. Lord, you wanna be proved wrong, eh? Good morning, brothers and sisters. How come you're on time? Oh, actually the thing was I, I walked and came. What about your Ferrari? Ah, uh, it's a Sunday, right? Uh, so she's resting at home. What am I missing over here? And uh, why is it surprising that he's here on time? Oh, bro, who oh got you smiling like that? Um, mission. Actually, uh, my experience after the mission has changed my life. Please, God. Do you even know how we got on that mission? Hello, brothers and sisters. We have a mission coming up, but there won't be electricity or proper transport at the place where we are staying at. But remember, we are doing this for the glory of God and to bring more souls. <laughs> I would love to go for that. Anyways, I want to go out of Bangalore. I would go to volunteer. But you can't be late on a mission. You have to be on time. Ah, there won't be as much traffic over there as there is here in Bangalore. I mean, it's such a waste of petrol over here. I wish I could take my Ferrari over there. Sean, you can't take a Ferrari on a mission. And you have to compromise on a lot of... Ah, it's okay, it's okay. I understand. I have to go to a village, right? Just sign me up. Okay. And I'll take your name down. Thank you. He did not hear on the phone what Mercy said. And then on the first day of the mission, he was complaining about all the adjustments and compromises he had to make. I'm so sorry, brother. The thing was, uh, here, if I miss one mass, I'm able to have five more masses and I can attend any one of them. But there, they had just one mass and that was so early in the morning. And here, he was missing the 11 a.m. mass. <laughs> true, true. The thing was also, uh, there was no network over there and I was really struggling without it. But life becomes so much more different when we are not using our phones on 24-7. Honestly, I learned a lot of humility from my brothers and sisters uh, at Mission. Uh, they, they do not have the traffic problems that we have over here, but they are deprived of so many things over there. Honestly, my car is not a necessity, it's a luxury. If they are able to wake up at 5.30 in the morning, uh, despite the cold and go for mass, uh, it should be easy for me to wake up and walk a 10 minute walk on a sunny morning. Sorry for being late to the meetings, uh, Prajwal. I will try to be more prudent in the way how I spend money and walk for shorter distances. That is something, Sean. It's really impressive. Now, video is on. Abe, jaldi bol kal subeh panvel nikalna hai. Now, last of all, Peter, how has this mission changed you? Hmm? Hmm? I had quite an experience being on mission. Initially, I was anxious about going since I had a severe toothache and I don't like being in front of a crowd. Every time I try to speak in Hindi, it's more like English. And so I was very nervous, but something inside me asked to try. I've heard stories of how the Holy Spirit has helped people when they needed it. And I asked him to do the same for me. As soon as I entered on mission land, I was busy interacting with all the people and I completely forgot about the toothache and it almost didn't bother me. Not only that, I went up and gave a session in Hindi. The fear of speaking another language just left me and I boldly spoke in whatever Hindi I could manage. But the crowd understood each and every word. Right now, I just made a similar prayer before talking to you all and I'm so excited there's no more fear. Praise God. There was something, Peter. How simple prayer can work wonders indeed. I had a similar experience. 
after going on a mission my fear of talking on stage was gone too i can see god moving so marvelously in all of you when you decide to serve in his vineyard thank you